So, was this better than the first film? I don't know. We'll find out. Peace. What's going on, you guys? I'm as always Mr. Green and Final 2, and welcome everybody to my channel. And I'm going to give you guys another real, real, real movie review, uh, film review. Uh, this time it's going to be for The Incredibles 2. Now, this film is once again directed and written by Brad Bird. This film was also, this film is also starring, uh, 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 this uh, film stars the return of Craig T. Nelson, Holly Hunter, excuse me, Sarah Vole, Huck, uh, Huck Milner, and Samuel L. Jackson. Um, this film is the 2018 uh, sequel to its predecessor that came out in, um, when was it? The f when was the uh, oh 2004 so was this film any good yes it was <laughs> this film was really really nice this film was 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 I love the the visuals in the film I loved everything about this I thought that the Incredibles 2 was was uh, interesting for what it was given for what they had given this and I felt like that this was a little bit more better than the first film um I enjoyed I enjoyed this but yes it did have problems yes it did have uh it did have have problems in the film uh Okay, so minor spoilers that are going to be involved in this. Of course, you know who. Uh, of course, you know we end up finding out anyway. We end up finding out towards the end of the film anyway. But uh, but it's 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 not it's um. Uh, okay, I want to talk about the the villain in the film. I want to talk about Screen Slaver. So. At the beginning of the movie, if y'all guys remember, they meet up with, uh, they meet this, uh, apparently, um, Elastigirl, Frozone, and, uh, and, uh, and Mr. Incredible are, are, uh, excuse me, um, <laughs> uh, are met up with a, a fan, like a superhero fan, by the by a guy by the name of Winston Dever. Um, he, his sister, Evelyn, who we've come to find out later on, spoiler by the way, is in fact the screen slaver. Um, um, And the fact that she is the okay Evelyn, who we come to find out is Screen Slaver. We you, it, it it's not surprise. I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised. You could see it. You could see that that this woman was this this uh this villain. You could see you could see it, and. There's a scene in the movie which I'm not gonna get into, which I'm not gonna uh, get into much spoilers over, where she has um, she has Helen, um, uh, Alaska girl, in a uh, she tied her to a chair, she tied her to a chair, and she uh, let's see. The reason she has a hatred for uh, for supers is because uh, her parents 
murder, I guess. And uh, it's just you could see the writing on the wall. You could see the writing on the wall with with her character of why she became a uh, of why she became a villain and stuff like that. And I thought that that was the whole. I I felt that that was the whole. That that could have been, I, like, her reasoning, Evelyn's reasoning, for even becoming a villain is is completely preposterous. It's completely dumb. But she ended up, apparently, she ended up being. She was this villain. I liked the film. I I liked the film, but the but the villain. I thought was kind of dumb, so uh, I didn't like I didn't I didn't like uh, Screen Slaver all that much because I I felt that 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 with Syndrome okay with Syndrome I thought Syndrome was a the more sinister uh, a more sinister villain in the first film I I the way. Uh, Sinister was played the way uh, the way uh, Syndrome was played, uh, and I forget who played him last time. I think it was uh, um, if I remember right. I think it was uh, I'm trying to remember who it was that played him. Uh, but anyway. Um, S Syndrome at least knew what the hell he was doing. Syndrome at least knew what uh, his reasoning for being a villain was at le was be hell of a be lot better. You know, I felt that Syndrome was the better villain, and but in this one, I, while I did not like Screen Slaver all that much, they bought another villain back. And uh, the Underminer, which was just a secondary type villain, you know, to the, to the, but I, I felt that Evelyn's reasoning, e Evelyn's reasoning for doing what she did was kind of dumb, you know, but all in all, the film did really, really good. The film was really, really good. The, the, uh, the cinematography, everything. The, the voice acting, uh, Craig T. Nelson, Holly Hunter, uh, they the whole cast did really good for what they were given, for what they were given, and I felt that this movie, even though I kind of, even though I kind of did not like the uh, the villain in this film, Screen Slaver, I still felt that the movie did pretty well for what for what they, for what. Uh, they were doing with the film so but yeah um i gave this film also a 10 out of 10 yeah 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 i know there th there's a lot of problems in this i know there was a lot of problems but i still loved it the music um and i'm trying to see who did who did the music to this michael G giacchino did the music for this I think he did the music for the first one, if I remember correctly. L let me know in the comments if he did, if if, if y'all guys remember that, or not. Uh, but the way the music just sways, and you hear hear that, you hear that that it, it sounds like a, it sounds like something from a noir film. The. Uh, the music, it sounds like something from a, like an action-packed spy noir film. Um, and I enjoyed the music. I liked the music a lot for this for this movie. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what y'all guys felt about this movie. If y'all liked it, let me know. If y'all didn't, let me know too. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. Uh, I'm Instagram512, and I'll see you all in the afterlife. Peace.